You remember those days when, not like now, see, service are finished, 12 30. Those days when we used to go to church, that service start around 8 30. Our pastor will not start preaching until 12. If we end the preaching around 3 30, then my mother will not attend one prayer meeting that not concern our family member. That we end around 5. You decide that follow her to church. You know, there's a way hunger will hit you. You will enter vibration. You know what I mean? Mommy. You cannot tell her, Mommy, I'm hungry. You'll be saying, Mommy. She'll say, What? Are we coming to church next week? You, they don't want you to say you're hungry. On our way home, she will not be like, Ah, I know it's hunger. Don't worry. We'll soon get home. On our way home, once the statistics that God will judge, she'll just go, Ah, Mommy Larry, uh, we have a meeting. Please, can we quickly do it in my house? Just 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. My mother will not look at me. Larry, Pele, don't worry. Once we get home, you will eat. As you are entering the statistics house, ladies and gentlemen, the statistics can see the hunger in my eyes. I'm looking, she's looking. You know when, when someone says, Are you okay? You know me. I'm okay. You cannot really talk loud because of the hunger inside you. As she, we were in her house, I sat down and looked at me. She was not like, ah, and I have fried rice and chicken. Larry, will you eat in the presence of your mother? And you know that kind of question. You need to consult the oracle before you can answer. As she said, will you eat? I look at my mother. My mother looked at me. She was not like, <laughs> they are asking you answer. You know your life is in your hand. You can see, is it a heaven or a fire? You will know that day. As you say, answer, I decided to be smart because that, that chicken is bigger than the one my daddy used to eat in our house. Do you understand? And I saw it. This and then, I decided to throw the question back to my mother. I was like, Mommy, she said, eh? Should I eat? My mother said, hey, 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 look at this boy. Eat! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know, there's a difference between eat and eat. Eat means it's okay. Eat means if they burn you well. Touch and die. Ladies and gentlemen, I ignore every existing protocol. You know, on the normal day, we, uh, our parents have communication language. They don't need to say much. They will just look at you and then it has a meaning. If my mother wink once, it means behave yourself. If she's not winking, she's looking at your eyeball to eyeball. And she's shaking her leg and shaking her head at the same time. Just know that your own have finished that day. Ladies and gentlemen, that fateful day, as I told you, Auntie, I said, I will eat. Because I just say, you know, we we'll eat this for last time, so we'll die and go to heaven. Because heaven is my home before. Then I then I decided to go like, as they brought the food, for the first time in my life, my mother was not looking at my eyes. She was not looking at my shoulder. She was not looking at my legs. She was not looking at my, she was looking straight at my neck. That was when I realized my mother's eyes and my sofa goes, they walk hand in hand. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in my entire life, for the first time in my entire life, what God cannot do, I put a spoon of fried rice in my mouth and behold, fried rice turned to chewing gum. I was chewing this thing, I could not swallow. Since that city comes, she was not like, ah, uh -uh, Larry, finish this. My mother now look at me, ah, uh ah, -uh, swallow. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you. What oh, appreciate. Larry J. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, ready to bring the praise.